Ego I open up with thousand message of Jesus Christ written by bringing to you and ten revelations of messages of Christians from across the world. Behold, I come quickly. Be ready. Hi all. This is Shanna here. And I have some dreams and visions to share with you. Now, I always felt that I was going to be a part of the rapture. It's just, I always just felt that. You know, I just felt like God intended for me to become a part of something really glorious. Okay, as far back as I can remember, uh, <clears throat> my first real vision um, happened in about 1985-86. I was living in a boarding house at the time. And this was shortly after my brother had died in a car accident. And I was with the Lord and I was comfortable. And I started having these visions. Okay. In this vision, I heard the most beautiful horn. Now, I just knew that it was from heaven. No horn could ever make such a long, beautiful sound. So, crystal clarity. I went outside to see where it was coming from. And when I looked to my left, I saw the whitest clouds. But when I looked again, I saw it wasn't even clouds at all, but it was white horses and, 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 and like saints on the horses and Jesus in the lead. And he was coming to the earth. Well, I always figured that that vision had to do with the second coming and not so much the rapture. It's just that, you know, that I was going to become a very big part of this, you know, because I, I would be one of those saints up there, you know. And I was just having a vision about a second coming. <clears throat> now, my second dream that I had, I would call this just like a dream, okay? You can kind of tell your visions from your dreams because visions are so crystal clear and there's nothing strange. They have you, ever, you know, when you dream, you can have like strange occurrences and stuff. Like, a vision is, is more like, this is really going on kind of thing, where a dream's just a dream. Dreams can be good, though, and they can tell you things. Now, this dream that I had was in 2004, I believe it was. I was in a van, and there wasn't, you know, just, it was just maybe like 12 of us all seated around, and I knew it was the end of the world. When we looked out the windows while we was in the van traveling, there was destruction all around, fire. I mean, it's like there wasn't even any oxygen in the air anymore. There just was nothing left. I mean, nothing. Just, just destruction every direction. But we knew we were safe. It, got, it was like a circle of protection. And the sky was just burning, and it was red. And I remember looking out the window, and... And there was a portal that opened up in the sky. And beyond the portal was a beautiful blue sky. And the van just lifted up into the sky. And it went up through that portal. And we went up into heaven. I'll never forget that. And you know, I to I I've always told my family and people about my visions and dreams. And just like, oh, blah, 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 blah. And they're just like, Oh, well, you know, God doesn't do that anymore. He doesn't, you know, I had my gra own grandma say, well, God doesn't do that anymore. Oh, yes, he does. <clears throat> you know, just close-minded people. But, you know, I'm just the messenger, and the messenger got the message out, so at least I did my part. Okay, now, in my next, my next one was a vision, the next dream that I had. I didn't even, wasn't even aware I was asleep. I was ill. I was having like a really bad drug reaction to an antibiotic and I was really ill. And I didn't even know I was asleep. <clears throat> now here's the kicker about this particular vision I had. I was in an unknown bathroom. I didn't recognize it. I was starting to lift up and going through the ceiling. And, and, and I noticed I was naked, okay? I wasn't wearing any clothes. I don't know if it's like, I, I, I thought I had just died. And I was a little scared because I was going higher and higher past the trees. 
But then when I was way high in the sky, I saw to my left Jesus in the distance, and I knew it was him. And I was just sailing closer and closer to him. And the closer I got to him, I was dressed in a white, beautiful gown. Yeah. I wasn't naked anymore. And I've always thought that that represents the rapture of this bright that at first, you know, we're in our human bodies that are perishable, but then we get them traded in for the non-perishable uh, eternal body. And I think that, that represented, you know, me, me being suddenly in a white robe. And I didn't even know that that, I thought I had died. And then I woke up, so. And the funny thing about this vision, I will tell you, the bathroom that I'm in, in the vision, looks like a bathroom now at the house that I live at now. So isn't that interesting? I don't know what's going to happen, but we have to trust our Lord. Now, I have since then, I've had other uh, rapture dreams where, you know, I'm floating out past the wall, and I know it's the, uh, the rapture. This is a silly dream the one that I had. I was floating past a fence, and I was so happy because I was going up in the rapture. And up in the sky, angels was putting us in these buildings. They were like hotels because the Lord was going to meet us there. And it's really funny. I was given my hotel room, and it was fancy. When I woke up and saw it was just a dream, I cried. I wanted to be in the rapture so bad. And I just, you know, I woke up and I was like, oh, that's just a dream. It seems so real. So, uh, okay. Now, I had this other vision. I was on this road, and Jesus told me to get as many people as I could to, to, you know, that would listen to me. He says, I'm on up ahead. You need to keep going forward on this road. Get the people behind you to stop going backwards on that road. I'm about to cut it off. And when I cut it off, it's going to fall into hell. And anybody caught on that road when I cut it off will fall into hell. I was trying to get this woman to listen to me, and she wouldn't. And I saw her I saw her standing on the road when God cut it off, and it fell into hell. That makes me think of the tribulation, that Jesus was warning that the tribulation is about to start. And for me to get as many people to listen, to come and follow, come and follow me, uh, uh, you know, because uh, 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 to listen to me, that Jesus is right up ahead to, 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 to follow me so that they can come with us. Because we're going to be soon, we're going to see Jesus soon. So that 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 was a doozy. Now this next uh, dream that I had was very amazing, and I've had two things in this dream already occur as confirmations. Okay, let me tell you the dream, and then I'll tell you what has come to pass and what hasn't. Okay. <laughs> now. I was dreaming about that I was in my house. And God's always put it on my heart that when I have any kind of a dream about my house, it's talking about me, my body, you know, because we're the temple of the Holy Ghost. So in my dream, I was told by God that three waves was going to be sent to my house. The first wave, when it would come into my house, would only come up ankle deep. The second wave, when it would come into my house, would be up to my waist. But then I was warned that the third wave that came into my house, I would not survive. He says, you have to go up on high ground. So in my vision, when I knew that the waters were coming, I went up on high ground, and a helicopter came and rescued me. Now, I believe that that third wave, when I was told to go up on high ground, that I would not survive, was literally telling me to put my hope and trust in the Most High. That he is my high ground. And that he himself will rescue me and get me out of here when it's time. Now, two of the waves have happened to me, have come into my house. The first wave that came up to my ankle, I have fractured my ankle really bad. That happened to me. The second wave, see, God's warning me of three things that are going to happen in my life. The second thing has happened to me, too. I've received an injury in the, in the, waist, in the waist area. And the injury was bad. I got crippled where I couldn't hardly walk, couldn't ride my bike anymore. That has come to pass too, but it hasn't killed me. But I've been warned that the third wave is coming, and I cannot survive 
I have to go on high ground and be rescued. That is the rapture, and that has not happened yet. So I was happy to share that with you.